Welcome to Websites for Beginners with JP. We are going to be looking at the simple contact form and element pack add-on for Elementor. And what is great about this simple contact form is that you can use it in Elementor Free. And that is great because Elementor Free doesn't have its own native contact form. With this add-on pack, you can still get the free Elementor, pay cheap for the whole pack to add on, and you can work like you are a pro. So let's go be the pro you were meant to be. Dive into Elementor and let's look for that widget called Simple Contact Form. Drag and drop it. And I'm just going to reduce a little bit here. <laughs> and then click here to go back into editing the widget. The forms layout, here you have an option to display the label or not. If I deactivate it, you will see the things like name, everything disappear. I'll show you a good usage for that in a short time from now. Input size will determine the difference in size between the border and your placeholder text. If I put that on large, you will see the white space increases. And if I put it, of course, on small, which should be narrow, there is less space there. The default is just perfect. Then to save more space, you can make the name and the email inline by activating this option, name email field inline. And I like this one, so I'm going to leave it. You can see the name is now here, 50%, and the email takes up the other 50%. Very nicely done. The submit button allows you to change the message we can say request, and you can also change the size of the button to a smaller one, or you can make it much larger. There is an alignment option here that does not work for me. I've checked the tutorials and online videos from Element Pack by BD Themes, and theirs works, but mine doesn't work. The reason why I would really like this to work is this justified one, which stretches the button across the entire section. That would be nice and I'll raise it with their customer support to see if there's a bug or something on my side. Then the additional options, custom text. Now here you get to change everything from the name field all the way to the message field. And this is where I want to show you my little trick for saving even more space. I'm going to duplicate the label into the placeholder. And this one is email and here your message your message. And then I'm going to go back to forms layout and deactivate the label. And now you will see I have this inline contact form saving a lot of space and looking very minimal. I like minimal looks. Let's go back to additional options because you have one more option here and that is the additional button message. You can activate this and you can leave a message here, like if you fill this in and you're the first 50 people, I will send you a special signed autograph, yeah, something like that. Finally, you can style it. And this is where things get very nice. Let's go style this. And I'm going to actually start by editing my section and styling it first from here. Going to add a background to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's my image. And for the background, let's say we're going to put the size on cover and the position at bottom center. Hmm, now let's put it center, center. Okay. And let's also go here and make our height, minimum height, a little bit. All right. Okay, that's looking good. Back to style. And then I'm going to give it a background overlay. Normal background type. And I'm going to add white to it. Right, nice, maybe increase the opacity a little bit here. Okay, let's go style now our simple contact form. Go in there for our fields. The text color, I'm going to put it on black. That is when you type in it, for example, like, hi, gorgeous. Right, you'll see that is black. Placeholder color, I'm also going to put that on black, or you can put it on the dark gray. And for the background color, I'm going to put it on white, but I'm going to reduce the opacity. Right, so it can shine through a little bit in the back. Then for border type, put it on solid, and then we put on 
one. And then for the color, you'll see it looks like it's wrong, but it's because you still have to activate the color here, some glitch there, and I'm going to reduce the opacity of that border also ever so slightly. Look how nicely that has been styled in just a few, what, clicks? Yes, not even a minute, I'm pretty sure. And then, of course, let's go and do the Submit button. And I want to drag a color from here. I'm going to grab my color picker, grab this blue, copy the hex and close it. And then for our background color, I'm going to add this soft blue, very, very soft. So, of course, our text color will have to go increase that. And for topography, let's put in something nice. Actually, often I find Arial can do a pretty good job. Increase it a little over there. And for the weight, let's put it just at 300, make sure. Transform it to uppercase. And I'm going to increase my letter spacing by one. Hmm, looking good so far. Should we give it a border? What do you say? I think let's go for a border. Also make it one color and here is always the trick put it on black and reduce the opacity there you go looking pretty pretty nice and from here on of course you can click on hover and you can change things hover is very nice it gives people the idea something has occurred so let's go into the background color let me see if i still have that yes i still have it let's increase it a little bit over here there we go nice Okay, and then for the border color, I'm going to reduce it completely. So when they do that, the line goes away. That looks good. And you can even add an animation to it. Ta-da! -da! Good. You may ask me, but JP, where does this form go? And it goes all the way over into your settings. So if you are in settings, and now I have to carefully think, is it under general? Yes, the email address that is here, that is where it will send. So make sure that that email address is the proper email address that you want to use. Type your message and send it. Voila! And you have a very nice, functional, simple contact form.